Roots and Blues Music Festival is back this weekend after being canceled last year because of COVID-19. Thanks for choosing us at 6. I'm Deborah Kendrick. And I'm Lucas Geisler. The festival draws thousands from all over the country to Columbia, which means a boost for the local economy. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon talked to local businesses about how the festival impacts business. Hannah, businesses are getting ready for that influx. Yes, Deb, Lucas, the Convention and Visitors Bureau told me the local economy took a big hit from the cancellation last year and hoping this year will be the boost it needs. Well, we've done it every year that it's happened, so it's just kind of a part of working at Lakota, I feel like, at this point. Lakota Coffee Shop participates as a vendor every year at the Roots and Blues Music Festival. The local coffee shop was busy today, getting things ready for the festival. Assistant manager Angela Bondani told me it helps market their business, which leads to some very busy days. And even people that are like visiting from out of the state, they'll think about us next time just because they came and got our coffee out of the tent. We usually have a line out the door like all day until about 8 p.m. Columbia's Convention and Visitors Bureau says the festival brings about $2.7 million into the local economy. So not only does that support local small businesses, um, but also the revenue that comes into our community benefits residents year-round. Since the festival was canceled last year, many local businesses missed out on some hundreds to even thousands of dollars. Bondani says Lakota was fortunate enough not to have to fire any employees during the pandemic. I think we were really lucky compared to other businesses. The festival will require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test for entry. Reporting live from Columbia, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Hannah, thank you. Roots and Blues recommends everyone gets a COVID test before attending, regardless of vaccination status.